Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there and welcome to The Naomi Show. Now, I've said it before, breaking up is hard to do. And the emotional aftermath is what makes it so tough. Well, I'm joined by psychologist Eve Ash to talk about what you can do if you are going through anguish after a breakup. Hi, Eve. And look, it's a tough time, isn't it? It's terrible. Mm. And people can get so upset they can actually end up being really depressed they don't go back out going with, out with other people yeah. so it, it's a real problem because in fact what they're doing is they're staying stuck in the past so what can you do about that because obviously you do go through a period where like a mourning period if you like do you think you need to set a time limit and if you do how can you do that how long should it be Look, it's a really good idea to kind of draw a line mm. between, okay, this is the breakup, this is going to be, I'm going to be feeling bad, but I'm going to draw a line. And a lot of people don't do that line, so it can go on for months or years, and they're still feeling some very common feelings that people feel after a breakup, which are usually the bad feelings, where they feel blame, they're sort of still blaming, still angry, they feel like they're a victim so they're sort of really going over and over why did this happen to me and sometimes sadly they feel vengeance mm. you know where you'll be sorry and you know it's a bad unhealthy feeling so we really want to help people get out of all of these bad feelings as quickly as they can and of course they could be blaming themselves as well which is very self-destructive absolutely and you know i think what they can do there is just accept responsibility and just say, look, we both led to this, it's happened, and now I've got to move on. Absolutely. So how do you do that, though? Because obviously when people are in the middle of it, it's really tough. They're feeling that terrible heartache. Lots of things around them in their surroundings could be reminding them of their partner, their, their ex-partner, which obviously just brings everything up all over again. Absolutely. Photographs favourite things that they did or went together to, mm -hmm. um, certain pieces of furniture, clothing, sometimes jewellery. There's a lot of things with associations. And if you've got a strong association and you're trying to cut with the past, then you need to take it out of your life or out of your vision at least. And it's surprising how many people will still have photographs mm. and and strong things that, that make them you know, fall apart, really start crying. So, you know, but there's another thing that they can do and that is to recognise their thinking patterns where they're thinking in their heads things like, this is really awful, I'm never going to get over it. They even use words that predict a negative future. I'll never get over this, I'll never be happy again. So it's about how you talk to yourself and you need to monitor that, is that what you're saying? Exactly, you need to recognise, no, that's not good helpful thinking so if I'm thinking if I can hear victim kind of scripts in my head I've got to change that and just let go let go of that um, let go of any vengeful thinking or blaming mm. and just say okay I'm thinking that but that was the past and move forward find little phrases like move forward let go that just remind you so you catch yourself and just say okay let go yeah, it's a, it's a matter of really monitoring your thinking, isn't it? And that's some of the stuff that you um, you talk about actually in your book, Rewrite Your Relationships, and there's actually one area that talks about going through breakups. And it's really worth getting hold of this book um, by Eve Ash called Rewrite Your Relationships because it gives you a little bit more of the background of, of those kind of elements and what you're actually going through. I think filling your life with practical physical things exercise get back with your friends usually if you've been going through a breakup or you've been in a tough time you probably haven't been seeing your friends now you probably will think it's the last thing I want to do mm. push yourself out the door get friends over feel your life go and do a new course or learn to dance you know a lot of people have said they go and do something quite different and it's great because it's physically good and you're meeting other people yeah. Okay, thank you so much for that. Great advice. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.